city rattled. Heart broken. A Memphis mother on her morning jog kidnapped. Suspect, Cleotha Amston Henderson. Uh, it was September 2nd, 2022. We want to find her. A massive search took place across the city, while forensic scientists 90 miles away at a state lab in Jackson, Tennessee, were making a disturbing discovery. On September 5th, they say they linked Henderson to a rape reported nearly a year before. That's right. They say his DNA matched the male DNA found in a rape kit submitted in September 2021. Memphis police didn't ask for the evidence to be expedited, so it sat on the shelf for nearly nine months before the lab could get to it. The day they made that discovery was the day authorities found Eliza Fletcher's body near an abandoned home. We have focused efforts. In the months that followed, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation didn't deny the concerning amount of time it took to process the rape kit or the long time it was taking to process other evidence submitted to their labs. In fact, WRG investigators reported on this very issue in 2019 when the TBI told us then it needed more money and staff to process the amount of evidence they were receiving. The turnaround time that we currently have for sexual assault kits in the Memphis crime laboratory is 35 weeks. Do you feel like that's too long? I remember when we used to have a 12 week turnaround time. After Fletcher was killed, state and local lawmakers promised to step in. Tennessee Senator Brent Taylor. We put in additional money to uh, hire 50 scientists that they could process these rape kids. Around the same time, the TBI secured a federal grant flying more than 850 sexual assault kits to a private lab in Florida to help with the analysis. The last batch was sent in July. The lab charged 2100 bucks per kit, which covers any related courtroom testimony cost. We asked the TBI's assistant director of forensic services about it. How long do you plan to outsource? Um, this hopefully will be the last outsourcing. Um, we don't know. Um, we have exhausted all of the funding that we currently have. What he does know, turnaround times have drastically decreased. Take a look. The TBI reports at its peak in July 2022, the average turnaround time to process a sexual assault kit was almost a year at the Jackson lab, where Memphis and Shelby County send their evidence. Now, as of May, the turnaround time has been cut in half to an average of 26 weeks. I welcome that and I commend them for that. We still have a ways to go, but we are making progress. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy says he's still pushing for the TBI to bring a lab back to Memphis. Unfortunately, sadly, we have the greatest need and I think it makes perfect sense for us to have a facility here. The TBI says they closed the Memphis lab because it outgrew the space and chose to build a new lab in Jackson because it's central to the region, claiming just one third of the evidence the lab receives is from Memphis. Did you know we are the only police department in the state with its own crime laboratory? A full service facility right here in Nashville. In 2015, Metro Nashville Police received accreditation for its $30 million crime lab so they could process their own evidence instead of waiting in line at a TBI lab. We requested an interview to see how it works, but have yet to hear back. Do we have the people in place that can actually go into the crime lab and get things done? Memphis Councilman J.B. Smiley says the council approved a feasibility study to see if a crime lab like Nashville's would work here. The question for us will also be whether we can staff and staff it efficiently and actually have a faster turnaround than we have right now. Yet another discussion here at City Hall on rape kits. See, back in 2010, WREG investigators uncovered a backlog of 12,000 sexual assault kits just sitting on shelves for decades. And since then, we've been committed to asking how this critical evidence is being handled. Politicians also promised change back then, like updating the public as they worked to eliminate the backlog. While the city made it clear it since sent every kit to the lab for testing, it's been a challenge to find out what happened afterwards. The city council stopped its regular updates in March 2020, despite the DA's office telling us their work was ramping up. Through the Tennessee Open Records request on September 14, 2022, we asked for the same information police used to provide the council. Almost a year later, MPD continues to tell us it's still retrieving, reviewing, and or redacting the requested records. And on that farm, he had a horse. 
Fletcher was a mother of two, a kindergarten teacher, a bright light in her community. Henderson is now charged with murder and also the 2021 rape of Alicia Franklin, who wanted her name out there and it known how long it took to process her evidence. She says she consented to a sexual assault examination in hopes it would lead to her attacker's arrest before he could strike again. Jessica Gartler, WREG News Channel 3.